and we are back with Ohio's on Fire. I'm your host, Daniel R. Hood, and we have our tonight's guest. They are a group known to the world as Vanity Theft. Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, You're everyone. on. Talk to the mic. Get a little closer. Hello, everyone. Okay, intimate. Hello, everyone. All right, and the two of the girls are here. Only two of the girls from the band are here. We got um, Alicia, and then we also got... Um, Lelaine. Uh, Lelaine. I'm not good with my names, but I'll do the best I can. We should have name tags. Yeah, that, that, that'd be a good idea. Mm -hmm. So anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, you are Vanity Theft. Now, um, what was the inspiration for the name Vanity Theft? Where did that name come from? Oh, you take that one, Alicia? Mm -hmm. I knew this one was coming. Um, well, man, we were really young when we made it. Originally, it was Vanity Pledge, and then we went through like 10 other really terrible, terrible names. Um, with the crappy one. And we ended up on Vanity Theft. Um, I guess it's just kind of come to mean, like, don't take yourself too seriously kind of thing. And I don't know. Like, we, we just kind of stuck with it, and people liked it, so. Okay. Nothing too interesting. Oh, that's all, that's all right. Now, the music that you girls make, is there a certain message that you want to spread in your, um, in your music to the fans that are listening? Is there a certain vibe that you have going? Heartbreak. Heartbreak. <laughs> Uh, I don't think there's necessarily like a message to be conveyed. Each song is different, really. It's just like relatable to, I think, many girls and guys everywhere um, with all the songs. It's nothing like too specific. Okay. We don't even use the words love, really. Never. Um, so it's really for everyone to take in as their own and relay it in their own way. All right. Now, um... Now, I know there's all big tours. You guys are on tour right now, and of course, there's a lot of super tours that young bands can go on. Like there's La Palooza in the, in the summer, and there's also um, that skate that skating tour. That um, warp tour. yes, the Warp Tour. Mm -hmm. um, but is there a certain tour or a certain venue that you would love to play at one day? La Palooza would be pretty. That would be definitely yeah. a dream. Coachella would be awesome yeah. too. <laughs> we actually we played Warp Tour a couple years ago. Uh, that was fun. But that one gets rowdy, huh? Yeah, it gets a little yeah. rowdy. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I guess all of them do, but Lollapalooza would definitely be yeah. an awesome one, considering uh, <clears throat> Lady Gaga just played the last one, so <laughs> everyone yeah. knows we love her. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Okay. Um, now, are you girls superstitious? Yes. I am. Sometimes, yes. I oh. Like, I believe in, you know, stuff being, maybe being bad luck or whatever. Oh, okay. okay. How so? Like, is there a certain thing that you want to share, or is that a secret? I don't put, like, my purse on the floor because okay. I think it's bad luck. Oh, all right. It means, like, I don't know, I'm not welcoming money into my life or something. Well, that, okay. Same with throwing away money. That's bad luck, too. Yeah. I think that's... And uh, I know some of us in the tour van hold our breath when we go under tunnels. Yep, and we make uh, a wish. Unless we we're in breath. Pennsylvania. If you try and hold your breath in a tunnel in Pennsylvania, you're not going to make it out. Or in New York. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's a short tunnel, you know, preserve that good luck. Yeah. Hold our breath. Okay. Now, um, is there a road story or maybe a, something that you girls have done together you want to share that's <laughs> radio friendly, by the way? Okay. That nice little out. story. That rules out 99% uh, of yeah. them. Yes. <laughs> anyway. Road story. Um, um, there's only one I can think. You of. drove away with the gas pump. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Um, Alicia wasn't there, but we were meeting her in LA because she was uh, traveling with her family, and it was my turn to drive. And Brittany was pumping the gas, and I guess I just assumed someone else had taken out the gas nozzle, and I thought I hit one of the paper towel windshield wiper <laughs> things, oh, no. and then I looked back, and like the nozzle and like hose yeah. had come completely off, yeah. and uh, I got out of the car, and Brittany and I were like, oh my god, what do we do, and then we tried to put it back on, and like screw it, and it didn't work, and I was like, all right, let's just go tell them. And then Brittany was like, wait, but that'll take an hour and we're going to be late for our show. Yeah. And so we were like, no, let's just go. And we bolted and ran. So we're not going to say where that happened just in case. They're looking for us. Yeah, they're probably looking for us. And then oh, as wow. soon as it happened, we saw a sign that said, uh, we are now probably uh, watching you because we've just installed cameras for your every visit. And awesome. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so uh, we, we bolted out of there. Yeah. That's a good little G-rated 
road story. Yeah. Well, there you sure. go. Well, that, that was good. We'll stick with that one. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope, well, I hope you don't get in trouble anytime soon. No, now, I, you, now you are associated with a company called Girly Media. I guess you have a, your record label that you're on is associated with them. And I kind of know, I kind of emailed them to get this interview done, and yes. they've been sending me all sorts of goodies through the email. How did you get signed by Girly Media? What was, how did that happen? Uh, Girly Action, they, um, it's a huge step for us as a band. Yeah. I mean, that's them putting us out for, like, um, just expanding our audience, and yeah, we've and only been working with them for maybe like a maybe, maybe a month. month. Yeah. Oh, just a month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we just, just actually got them. to meet them face to face in New York City at CMJ. All right. Yeah. Which was very cool. Um, they set up some cool stuff for us there, like this interview. Yeah, like this interview, and in New York City they got us shoes. So yeah, they they shoes. took us to the Converse suite or the Converse office and uh. We got to pick all this stuff that wasn't even uh, on the market yet. Um, okay. So we're trying to rock those shoes before anyone gets them. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. everyone loves Converse's. I rocked them once and they already smell like crap. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's another road story. Well, uh, that's another Alicia's story. Feet. Uh, <laughs> they tell many tales. <laughs> oh, well, okay. For many miles. Aww. He says, aw. Now, um, now that someone from Girly Action, did they see you in concert? They just find, find you on the internet one day? just by chance uh they heard our music yeah they heard our uh, music um okay. our manager josh binder was kind of in touch with them more than we were okay. but they came and watched their show at cmj and all right yeah, we didn't fail all to right. uh you know make them proud which is what we want because we want them obviously to be proud of what they're uh promoting okay well that's good well i'm happy for you girls you guys when we will play their song in a little bit they have a good sound going for them and um, also, I want to ask you a few more things for good. Um, now, if you had a time machine, any time machine, if you could go back anywhere in time and do anything you wanted to do, what would it be and why? Dude. Dude. Oh, this is so on the spot. I'm just, oh, wow. I would like to go back to, what would it be? We'd probably the, go to, like, an Elvis concert. That's what I was just, right? no, well, I was about to say I'd, take it back to what is it like the late 60s i'd like to be in the bathroom when it happened with elvis Dude, and he died what? on the throne that's morbid i would like to see if like how it really happened because there's always suspicion uh, oh how he, like, how how he, he passed away yeah oh okay, okay. that's all that's that, all that is kind of weird but yeah, right. I don't, well that's how weird of an <laughs> elvis fan i am i'll take it to the max i was just gonna go for like front row center at a concert or something with elvis either yeah. anything to do with elvis would definitely be my okay my Elvis. Okay, cool beans. <laughs> All right, cool beans. everyone's having a good time. She's laughing. <laughs> now, um, but now, yeah, um, I, I know <laughs> now one of my gripes with uh, music nowadays, well, or lack of, if you will, on television, you don't really see a lot of music videos played during the day anymore. Stations like MTV and VH1, they've drastically changed directions, and um, they don't really play videos anymore until it's really late at night, and. Um, I was wondering, has um, the lack of music videos on television, has it hurt you girls? Does it bother you? And um, what are your thoughts on um, your, your ability to make it further in your career? Uh, I feel like a lot of like music video stuff is so internet based now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it's the new TV, you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's a kind of a bummer not being able to watch music videos on TV, but I'm, I mean... I mean, the internet's there always. Usually. We don't really, so it's just as yeah. accessible. Honestly, we don't really watch that much TV. Like, one the, of the Motel Sixes on tour don't get many <laughs> stations. So yeah, or the the Best Westerns. Yeah, the Best Westerns. Well, one of the stations actually, I just discovered that uh, I'm totally um, in support of is Cool TV. Mm -hmm. um, it's like uh, just a, a local kind of station, and they play music videos all day and okay. all night from like all genres and that's okay. an awesome one to watch but yeah unless you have like the super cable channels you can't watch like mtv2 yeah. or vh1 classic for music videos all day but i'd rather watch those than you know those whatever shows reality shows that they put on mtv all the time like i don't know man rock of love oh god <laughs> We used to watch or, that as or like that show next the finale. like oh, we yeah, watched I the mean, finale of rock of love we had a rock of love finale party actually uh oh before you i was the not office. there i was there and i, I would have not joined every glorious moment 
Okay, that's something. It sure is. <laughs> All right. I guess, now, okay, one more question before we go to a commercial break. Um, yes. What would you like to see change in the state of Ohio, being Ohio citizens? Is there something you know that uh, it's something lacking, something you just want to see change, and why? I'm not a, from Ohio, a sub, so that's a subway. an Alicia question. A subway would be pretty dope. Hey, I say the same for LA. <laughs> you know, they're talking. They're talking about putting one like from Cincy to Dayton to Columbus to Cleveland. Subways. Or trains, man. Yeah, you guys like don't have trains here either. A metro. We don't need trains. Will. That's old hat. <laughs> um, that's my Ohio pride right there. Give me a subway and I'm happy. Yeah, a better transportation system. Yeah. All right. Well, the, well yeah, I prefer a subway. That'd be nice because I've never right. been on. He only, I guess only New York City they have a subway or maybe a few other places. There's quite a I'm, few. Um, yeah, you know. I don't get out much, so I don't know. I'll take your word no, for man, it. No, man, us neither. We got subway passes in New York, some of us, for the first time. and whew, It was awesome. It was. We used that day pass to yeah, the we max. Did. We did. All right. 